Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the Foundry. My name is John. I'm here with Sly today. Sly, how are you? I'm doing great, man. How about yourself? I'm doing wonderful. You know, wonderful thinking about all these survivors of the snap. Ooh. Yeah, so uh, almost a year uh, since Avengers Infinity Wars came out, um, and we are still trying to get over the wreckage, over all the chaos, the deaths, supposedly, that have occurred um, we've had a recent trailer that got dropped that kind of that kind of makes us think like is this uh, is this kind of a joke you know is this whole snap thing a joke what's it called again huh. the decimation decimation yes was this decimation thing a whole joke you know Spider Man's already back at it you know swinging around and shit uh, right but that's supposed to come out after uh, Endgame correct yes so that takes place on the timeline after Endgame so it's assumed that you know he returns in Endgame. All right. Yeah, we'll see something about that. You know, everyone's had yeah. their doubts. I just kind of, I feel like they should have waited to post that trailer. But uh, we can get that, Agreed. get to that later. But uh, today, Sly and I want to talk to you guys about who survived the snap and who possibly survived the snap. So we've got some people here. You know, we've got a nice little list here. Um, some people on the on the uh, battleground that we saw for sure. You know, who who were kicking alive and some people that we could think about and some people we haven't even seen like in a long time say like uh you know for example jane foster we haven't seen her what since like thor 2 yep it's been ages you guys so um yeah we got some list of people here we've got iron man we know he's uh, like on titan with uh nebula right uh who yeah. else is up there is that or, or... just the two of them just they the were the only survivors on titan yeah, that's sad. So we got oh, also Thanos. You know, he was alive. Well, yeah, but he left. He left. You're right. He did leave. So uh, we got a uh, Nebula. We've got Iron Man. They're for sure alive. And then back down on Earth uh, in Wakanda, we saw Thor was still kicking. Rocket Raccoon, Captain America, mm -hmm. Black Widow. Who else we saw? We saw Hulk, um, War Machine. Um, am I missing anybody? I don't think I am. If I am. Sure guys write down in the comments please yeah i who who's your most death like <laughs> when the decimation occurred what what disappointed you seeing what death in wakanda oh groot groot yeah groot definitely groot. Groot was so sad rocket has already lost him once and then you know, know. he was a little sapling and i was like oh no and then like when the russo brothers came out and said like oh when he was like i'm groot he was like he called Rocket Dad, and I was like, no! <laughs> yeah, it was, it was sad. It's very yeah. sad. It's touching. I think that's got to be everyone's, like, biggest disappointment. Oh. It's got to be. Of course, everyone, you know, <laughs> Mr. Stark, I don't feel so good, is up there as well. Like, oh, yeah. That's that... probably the second one for me. I was like, oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, that's that's very bad. Both, like, father figures kind of... <laughs> exactly. Sad. Uh, it's fucking terrible. Anyways... Um, so, you know, possible, possible characters that are alive, you know, that we haven't seen in kind of in a long time. Uh, like I said, Jane Foster, we don't know Aunt, Aunt May, she could be alive, she could be dead. Um, also, Howard the Duck, he could be alive, you know, this is important, important that if Howard is alive. Um, Corgan hey, maybe Meek, that dog is alive, too. Yeah, uh, I cannot remember his name for the life of me right now. God damn it. It starts with an S, I think. Uh, it, he's got the, like, cone on his head. Yeah, yeah, yeah um mcu space, space dog, dog. <laughs> space we're not looking dog. it up right now guys cosmo the space dog i believe that's his name cosmo <laughs> cosmo the space dog i, think I pulled that right. out of my brain i did not look it up at all yeah, yeah. no i i just filed through my uh, old notes yeah, yeah anyways <laughs> there you go uh yeah corgan meek they could possibly still be kicking those guys uh from ragnarok yep. i personally love them i thought they were a fine little duo or uh, they could have been killed in the little intro there of uh, Thanos ambushing the Asgardian Asgardians or what's left of Asgard there. Yep. Yeah, which where we saw. And, and I know they confirmed uh, Valkyrie at least escaped. So we know that they managed to get half the population off that ship before mm -hmm. the invasion from uh, the uh, Black Order and mm -hmm. Thanos. So uh, we got some Asgardian refugees that are alive along with Valkyrie, yeah. so they're still kicking. <clears throat> we saw the Collector get killed in a false reality segment in the Infinity War, but we don't know if he's still alive. He could be yep. still very well kicking on Nowhere. I believe that's the uh, planet system that he's on. Yep. Um, Pepper Potts, she could be alive still, looking out for Iron Man. Where's she? 
or she could be dead. You know, it's sad. But uh, <laughs> Wong, that cowardice little bastard, <laughs> he's yeah. <laughs> he could be alive still. We got some uh, Mumbaku from uh, the Black Panther. He could be still kicking. Um, Ant Man, he, he's alive, right? You think he's alive? Yeah, I think he's alive. Yeah, because uh, didn't at the end of uh, a certain movie there was an end credits and he was still alive? Yeah. yeah. When it happened? I thought so. Um, <clears throat> yeah, some villains as well, like Grandmaster, Ultron, Ego, which could be still alive after the snap or couldn't be. Yeah, I have a theory actually about that Ant Man thing, you know? Oh. Do, do, do you think we should discuss that here, or is that probably for another video? I mean, I'd say we could toss it in here. All right, go ahead. Toss it right in. Yeah. You got a, got a theory. Slide's got a theory, everybody. Gather around. I have a theory. Gather around. When Doctor Strange came up with, you know, when he was doing his little meditation thing and the, what, 14 million, 65 different potential outcomes, I think that was the number, and the one that worked out, I think the intention of that entire fight with Thanos was not to beat him, but to stall. Mm -hmm. In the sense that by the time that Thanos was able to achieve the snap, at the end credits of Ant-Man and the Wasp, uh, Scott Lang is somewhere that the snap doesn't affect him, we'll put it. And I think that was Doctor Strange's intention, because there have been many theories that where Ant-Man was, civilization was possible of growing there there was a potential like life force down there but it's its own separate entity so i think dr strange waited knowing that in that exact moment ant-man would be elsewhere and he'd be safe because he's gonna be so pivotal in avengers endgame and on top of that i also know for a fact if you look at all the times that the avengers have succeeded against what we have uh the original battle with the chitauri uh, Ultron, and then, uh, you know, Cap versus Tony. Hawkeye was there. So with the reemergence of the legendary Hawkeye, mm -hmm. I Which, think the Avengers are going to pull through. Well, uh, hopefully, you know, hopefully they have some more films. I would love to see some of those guys. I know there's mm -hmm. obviously some background stuff, like some details that you can't ignore, like uh, contracts expiring or trailers mm -hmm. of uh, future movies popping out that where business kind of gets in the way of the uh, of the lore and the fandom that you can't really ignore. It's true. Yeah, but uh, Sly and I just want to play around, you know, a little bit, see who's alive, see who's kicking, see who's possibly alive. Maybe, you know, maybe they could have a return of a, a villain, say like. Uh, Ultron, you know, I would I would love to see some stuff like that. I would like that. Who knows, you know, maybe maybe Zemo is gonna pop out and be a be a good villain. I don't know, Baron Zemo. Maybe. I think that's his name. Yeah. yeah. But uh, Sly, thank you, thank you for joining me today. This was pretty fun, you know, just throwing kicking around some uh, ideas. That's a good theory. I like that. That is Thanks. a bueno theory. I like that. Um, where Scotland possibly could be useful. But, yeah, uh, I know, right? It's unusual. Yeah. <laughs> But uh, this guy, the guys, this has been the Foundry. Say thank you so much for watching. Please uh, make sure to check out all the links down below and uh, make sure to subscribe to us. You know, keep up, we'll see what's going on, we'll see what's being put out uh, because we're gonna have some more Marvel videos and stuff like that for you guys. You know, hyping it up for uh, Captain Marvel. Maybe we'll review that. Also, a review on Avengers Endgame whenever those uh, movies are out. And I'd love to see you guys later on the next one. Bye bye. Bye.